Here are seven amazing facts about autism that you probably didn't know. I'm super stoked. All that's coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos on this type of interesting content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, make sure to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell to not miss a video. And also, if you're watching over on Facebook, we should just give this page a like and a follow to see more videos just like this one. Guys, in this video, I'm covering seven super uber interesting facts so that by the end of the video, you will have your eyes wide open to autism like you've never seen it before. Hey guys, what's good? Oh man. I'm loving this uh, rainy summer weather. It's only get like rain vibes in the middle of the summer. I don't know if I like rain in the winter, but in the summer, it's super awesome. But if you want to keep up to date with me and all the other goings on on my life, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Give me a follow on Instagram. I am actually uh, responding to every single DM on Instagram. So if you have a question for me, why don't you hit it over on uh, Instagram? That'd be super awesome. Right, guys, let me know where you're watching from. I want to know if you're watching from, uh, you know, which country you're watching from in the comments down below, because it's super interesting to know where my fans and followers and watchers and commenters are all following from so pop me a comment in the comment section down below I read and respond to every single one so do that now. okay so I wanted to this video for a while I, I wanted to talk about like super interesting facts about autism that everyone must see because it's such a fascinating subject and such a vast subject that I thought hey wouldn't it be interesting to talk about facts that nobody else is talking about and nobody's doing these videos so I thought I'm gonna do them Dan's gonna be a saving grace get yourself you know a cup of water get yourself some Aspie World merch links in the description below on the carousel down below. Chill out, put your telly on, put me on and watch these seven interesting facts. All right, let's go. Okay, number one, autism wasn't always called autism. So the condition autism was initially called Kenner syndrome and later early infantile autism and then just became autism. Now the reason for this is because Leo Kanner, um, he was a, a scientist or, or a psychologist who was studying in the 1940s all about autism. So the 1940s had a uh, kind of like a, a burst of Leo Kanner and Hans Asperger kind of com coming up with these terms uh, and the, the basically the, the early adopted ideas of autism in their uh, case studies. And so obviously you had Asperger syndrome, which is named after Hans Asperger, and you had the Kenner syndrome, which later became infantile autism, and then just autism. Super interesting, right? I thought it was interesting. Right. So number two is boys versus girls. Now, autism is five times more likely in males than females. Uh, although the statistics don't really um, match up when you think about the fact that like misdiagnosis, masking, um, and the weird thing that there's more females in the world than males in the world, how are there five times more males diagnosed with autism than females? Super really, I, I don't know, that confuses me. It's super really interesting and it's something that I want to put in here because the fact that five times as many males as females are diagnosed, it's just mind blowing. It's super cool though. As a fact, it's very much standalone. Okay, number three. Hidden disabilities. Autism is classed as a hidden disability. Now, hidden disability means something that you can't really see off the bat, but is still disabled. Like if you have a mental health condition, if you have a neurological disorder, and um, well, there's a bunch of other, you know, it could be something internally that's uh, disabling you. But in terms of uh, autism, it's classified as a hidden disability. And I think that's quite interesting. So they actually made this uh, lanyard, which I don't have on me now because it's by my keys, but it's basically a lanyard with sunflowers around it. So that if you wear that, people of, um, you know, it's like store managers, store shop owners, and people in airports and staff of authority will see that and go, um, oh yeah, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a hidden disability lanyard. Beacon for people of authority to realize, oh, this person's got a hidden disability, I need to help make sure that they're okay, because a lot of the time it doesn't really help, that having a hidden disability doesn't help, you know, if you see someone with a wheelchair struggling to get upstairs, then it's obvious, isn't it? But if you've got someone with autism kind of walking around an airport freaking out, it's less obvious. But hidden disability is nomenclature, which has been given to people in the autism spectrum, which I feel is super interesting. So number four is the mental health issues. Right, so every um, one in three adults on the autism spectrum has uh, an, an impact by a severe mental health condition and needs support for that. That's crazy, right? So one in every three adults on the autism spectrum has a severe me uh, mental health issue and they do need support for that. So autism comes with comorbid issues like um, it could come with depression or anxiety or, or a whole host of different things. And the most interesting thing about that is that the rate is really high, one in three, so like one out of 
of three, like a third of people on the autism spectrum have mental health issues. I find that super interesting, super fascinating, and kind of like it's just it's just interesting to know because if you know someone who's on the autism spectrum, having this information makes it more like you can uh, you can understand if they're having like a depression day because you'd be like okay well it comes comorbidly with the condition right and so it's really interesting that nobody really stops and thinks about mental health conditions when they think about autism because they're already primary programmed to think about the neurological implications and like like oh it's neurological it's this that and the other it's not um it, you know, I don't know. It's just interesting that people don't think about autism from a mental health perspective. Okay, so number five, the origin of the name autism. This is really interesting. Okay, so the term autism uh, stems from the Greek word um, autos, meaning self, and uh, autism literally means uh, alone. So uh, autism, so self, autism, self alone I guess is that, that what they're trying to say here so autism literally means alone by itself so it's the autos kind of alone which is again like a self kind of isolating thing which is like a self alone autism which is really weird I find that really bizarre that they called it that but it comes from Greek word autos um, and uh, that's really really interesting I, I, and it's weird that they named that and, and I want to know how they came from Hannah's syndrome to uh, to autism or early infantile autism, which is really interesting, and that's another fascinating concept that like autism uh, was was said to be like this thing that only kids could get for years and years, and people some people still even believe that some people who have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, number six, um, autism and seizures. Now, up to a third of people on the autism spectrum have developed seizure disorders, which, with the rate of seizures in people with ASD is 10 times higher than a neurotypical person. Meaning that if you're on the autism spectrum, you're more likely, you're 10 times more likely to have seizures of things like uh, epilepsy. Because, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it, it kind of comes comorbidly. And, you know, it's funny, I know a lot of autistic people who have um, epileptic seizures, which is just fascinating. That, the whole concept of you know things that come comorbidly with autism is just fascinating okay so number seven autism and other conditions about 10 percent of people with autism spectrum disorders also have another genetic neurological or um, metabolic disorder now gastrointestine uh, issues are very very common with people on the autism spectrum they may have like uh, celiac disease as well uh, they may have um, ibs all kinds of stuff which is like super really interesting like i did a video on this before where i um i said that when you know i had uh, some gi issues that come with with autism and eczema also comes with autism it's just fascinating okay so number eight is autism in history it is speculated that albert einstein isaac newton andy warhol and bill gates are also on the autism spectrum which is super interesting because there was actually i read an article where bill gates would rock backwards and forwards in um, meetings and stuff like that in his office and that's obviously a form of stimming and stimming obviously is a part of autism and so bill gates is um yeah been been said to be on the autism spectrum but also the behavior of Isaac Newton was very erratic as well and he even I think it was Isaac Newton that actually had a stairwell built into the back of his apartment block because he wanted to have an entrance where nobody would see him and uh, they were just absolutely fantastic uh, Albert Einstein again very very clever man and they uh, did like a retrospective uh, like not test but like a retrospective autism assessment on Einstein's behavior and they said that he would have been the, on the autism spectrum for sure and so that is really really interesting so I gave you a bonus one there, number eight, because I'm just just awesome like that, you know? I just, what a guy. Anyway, guys, if you think this video can help somebody, please share this on Facebook or tag them in the comments of this video and uh, let them know that this video is here. Also, guys, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.